Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 47 of Learn Lightroom 5. In this episode, I'm going to show how you could create a soft and dreamy black and white image using the radial filter. Now this episode was prompted by two different emails I received. In one email, the person asked me if I could show how to create a soft and dreamy black and white image. I received another email from someone else asking me if I could show something with the radio filter, some tips and tricks. Well, I could tackle both of those issues in this one video. Now, first of all, to create a soft and dreamy image, usually you could just open the basic panel and you could go down here to the presence section of the panel and turn clarity down to some degree. And you could see it, it really does a nice job of creating this kind of soft, ethereal look to your image. But in my opinion, it's not always the best way to do it. I think a better way to do it is to use the radio filter and kind of target where you want that soft and dreamy part of the image to be. Now, they also, also asked me if I could show it in, in a black and white image. So I'm going to convert it to black and white. If you don't want to do a black and white image, just skip the next step. Now, you probably know there's three different ways in Lightroom you could convert your image to black and white. You could go into the basic panel and just turn saturation all the way down. Now in my opinion that's not always the best way to do it. It's effective but not always the best way. The other way you could do it is you go to the top of the basic panel and just click on the black and white tab and it will create the black and white image. Now again I don't always consider that to be the best way. In my opinion if you go to the HSL color B&W tab and you just click on the B&W part of the tab, it converts it to black and white. But why I feel this is usually better is because you have this set of sliders now where you could adjust the luminosity of the colors that were in the color image. So if you have a lot of green or orange or something in your shot and you want to make that say the orange brighter or darker, you could go to this slider and slide the orange up to make it brighter and down to make it darker. Now it gives you a lot more power on kind of uh, tuning your image, your black and white image, to exactly how you want it to be. The reason why I'm bringing this all up, because a lot of people that do this technique, they like the skin tones of the people to be very bright. I usually don't. I don't like it very bright. But it's down to personal taste. And of course, it really only works with white people. You're not going to do this with black people or any other really darker skin tone. It doesn't look right. So if you have white people in the shot and you want their skin tone brighter, you could turn the oranges and the yellows up and just play with those sliders until you get them pretty much as bright as you would like. And then you, we would move on to the next step, actually making them kind of look that dreamy look. So we're going to close this down. I'm done there. I don't like doing that step, as I mentioned. We're going to go right to the radial filter. The radial filter is the second tool from the right in the tool palette. And it has the typical uh, sliders that you would find in your brush or in your graduated filter. Now, to draw the radial filter, you could just do a rough, like, drawing of the radial filter and then we could adjust it later. So I wouldn't lose uh, too much sweat on this part. If you want it perfectly round or something like that, don't labor over trying to make it perfectly round. Just draw it. So I'm going to draw this radial filter probably right about here. And I want an oval filter. So like that. Now I'm going to adjust it to fit this image. As you can see, when I move in into the middle of the radial filter, my cursor turns into a little hand so I could actually move it. And I want it pretty much like that. I, I got lucky and drew it pretty much the way I wanted to. I just had to move it. So I want it over them like that. Now, if I start moving sliders right now, the sliders are going to actually adjust the outside, not the inside. I want to adjust them. I want to make them softer. So right down here at the bottom, there's a little tick box, Invert Mask. So click that. Now we're actually going to be doing our adjustments on the inside of the oval. Now, again, it has the clarity slider. We're going to turn that clarity down. Now, as I turned it down, you can see it's more subtle of an adjustment than it was in the basic panel. So we have to kind of double it. So what we're going to do 
is I'm going to hover over the button that's right in the middle here and right click and you can see a little menu pops up and you can see duplicate. We're just going to duplicate it and you can see it did a nice nicer job now of softening them. Now one thing I'm just going to make a note of real quick. Those of you that have iMacs and you use the Apple mouse. A lot of people say, well, I can't right click with the Apple mouse. Well, actually you can. If you go into your um, system preferences, you could turn on right clicking on the mouse and it recognizes your middle finger as you're right clicking. If you don't want to do that, just hold the control key down when you click and it will do the same thing as a right click. A lot of people, I guess, didn't know that. I get emails a lot when I mention right-clicking, and they, they said they can't do it because they have an iMac. That's how you do it. Okay, now we have the um, oval over them. I doubled it. I have it pretty soft, I guess, for now. We could come back and readjust this later. Now I want to affect the rest of the image. I would like a, it to be darker and have a vignette. Now, you guys know Typically, you could go down to Effects and you could pull this slider down to get a dark vignette and pull it up to get a light vignette. But the problem here is this slider is really always centered. And see how these people are off center? And I want a vignette. I mean, it, I don't know. I just, I'd rather have the spotlight on them and have this way over here in the dark. And there's no slider here where I could ex uh, really push the centering of it. Midpoint you would think would do it but it really doesn't. So we're going to turn those off. The preferred way to do it is to use a radial filter for that. So again I'm going to draw, make sure we have a new filter. We're going to draw the radial filter over them and I'm going to adjust it by moving it over them. Now you could grab these handles that are around the filter to make it narrower or thicker, whatever you know is your preference. And I'm going to make it a little bigger like that, I think. Now, I want this part darker. So now we do not invert this, this um, filter because we are going to affect the outside. So I'm just going to take exposure down. Like that. And see if we want to mess with clarity on this one too. Yeah, I think I'll bring clarity down too. You know, and you could just try it different ways. See how, let me bring contrast up, something like that. Now I really, it's pretty heavy effect that I just did, I admit it. And so you might not want that heavy of an effect. But that is basically how you would do it. How you would create this kind of soft ethereal look and create a vignette around it to really um, kind of exaggerate the look. Now as I mentioned you could go back here and readjust these. So I could go to the you know one of the buttons. This was the first one and how I know it's the first one they're so close together is I had the in invert mask on that one. So I could adjust things here if I want to bring sharpness down or if I want to add noise or remove noise something like that. You could move those around. You want to mess with the highlights a little. You want to turn highlights up maybe. I don't know. You could reset everything by double clicking on the slider or on the name of the slider. Um, if you want to add more kind of, of this um, soft dreamy look, we could duplicate it again and it will add it even more so. Maybe we could back it off a little like that. And then when we're done, close the filter. So that's really it. That's how you would create this soft and dreamy black and white effect using the radial filter. And remember that when this tick box on the filter invert mask is not ticked, you're affecting everything outside of the filter. You're adjusting everything outside of the filter. When it is ticked, you're adjusting everything inside the filter. So that's it. That's how you would do it. And I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. If you guys could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd appreciate that even more. All right. Thank you very much. Talk to you guys soon.